Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to you at Lost. I am Stylosa and this is the glorious Overanalyze. Do you like my t-shirt, by the way? I've, in fact, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. It's my awesome Pakamari t-shirt. It's like an official Blizzard thing. It's so cool. I have no idea what this says, but it's it's just, it is literally the best thing ever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at Baptiste. Now, mainly because I want to do a Baptiste one because, well, we haven't done a Baptiste one. He is the latest hero in the game and it's about time we do a Baptiste. Um, but the email says this. Uh, the reason for the request... I started getting into the new hero, Baptiste, and would like to get feedback if I'm not understanding the new hero properly or making bad decisions with the Immortality Field, which is, by the way, an amazing ability. Probably one of the best abilities in the entire game. Prior to the new hero uh, release, I mainly played Anna, and I'm kind of playing Baptiste like Anna. Now, I will say Baptiste a lot. Uh, Baptiste or Baps, I'm just going to call him Bappers. That's what I like to call it. Now, I'll just call Probably Baptiste I'll say a lot because I'm an idiot and I'm from England, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced. Batiste. Uh, anyway, I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get stuck into this because. Be ba ba oh, yeah, we've got yeah. a group. Yeah. This yeah, is good. So we're probably gonna have a lot of good voice comms. I hope. Okay. Now, I guess some key concepts with Baptiste to begin this video with. He's a very specific type of main support. This means he pumps out a ton of heroes. So I was going to pause it, but you've only gone and pressed, like, tab, well, P or something. Is it S? O? No, it's O, right? It's not S. S is back. Why would it be S? What an idiot I am. Anyway, take a look at this, right? Batiste, uh, where's my thing? Yo, where's my thing? Where's my, why isn't it working? Okay, it's working now. I've, I've, I've fixed it. So, Batiste, main healer. Absolutely main healer. This means he pumps out tons of healing. But he's a very special type of main healer. Now, there are three main healers in this game. Right, you've got uh, Batiste, you've got Anna. Actually, there's four main healers. I'm an idiot. I guess <laughs> there's Moira. <laughs> right, Moira, uh, and the, the, uh, like, so obviously that's Batiste here. Um, and uh, there is another one, and it's it's Mercy. How could I have got the wonderful Mercy? Now we are very much in the meta of Overwatch, where you can pick the main support based on what your team are doing, and crucially, I cannot stress this enough, crucially, on the map that you are playing. This means Batiste is really good on some maps, Anna's really good on some maps, Mercy's really good on some maps, Moira's really good on some maps, and they're all really good in certain team compositions, right? They've got very clear, and I mean this, very, very clear skill sets and abilities, and... We'll just roll into the video before we break this down because I think, to be honest, this could be quite interesting because it depends on what our team comp is, what the enemy team comp is, and what map we're on. Right now on Nepal Village, I know this is a lot of build-up to this video, guys. I apologize for boring the tits off you. I'm sorry. But Batiste, really good on Village if we're going to play on the point. Batiste wants you to stay together. Yeah? Anna's really good at long-range healing. Mercy's really good at supporting, like, you know, a pharmacy combo, because she's obviously part of it. Or she's very good for going in with dive. She's very good for just generally staying alive. She's very good on 2CP because she's got res. And Mercy's just a very good healer anyway. You can kind of swap Mercy and Anna in almost a lot of situations, although Anna obviously has a lot of utility with her nades. Uh, she's got a good ultimate. Uh, Mercy's ultimate, ah, it's probably the worst out of all of the main healers, I'm going to say. Um... Moira, very good in tanky comps or comps where we're, we're together, but we're moving. That's the thing with Moira. She's really good at moving, healing, tanky kind of comps. Batiste, better at stationary bunker comps because uh, obviously Immortality Field is really good. And his heal, you can pump into the ground and it's AoE. So that's good. Right. After that very convoluted explanation, let's just get stuck into this. So what I'm looking at here team comp wise, I like it because I see that we've got you on main support and we've got Lucio as our secondary healer. This is totally fine. Totally, absolutely fine, because it means that, yeah, we've got primary healer, we've got a supplementary healer, we've got all of the associated benefits that brings, and because we're on this map, it means we can get to the point quicker, because we've got Lucio, and this is exactly what we want to do, right? 100%. I always say, what's the plan? Yeah, so I have a plan. I'm not I'm not too sure, well, you guys haven't spoke about the plan, so we'll see what happens when the game starts. But right now, it's cool. I like it. Okay, so we're going top. This is fine because we're probably going to fight if... <sighs> See, I would have preferred if you went point, yeah? If you're in a three stack, you can dictate what your team are going to do. Uh, if you're basically... Why have we got an Anna? If you're basically playing the three... 
let's say, main heroes of the team, you can kind of, especially the, with the main tank, you can be like, guys, we're going to the point. That's what we're going to do because I'm Batiste, I'm super strong. Just think of it like a May, right? You would take May to the point on this point because she's really strong, yeah? You want to fight on the point. That's where you're going to get maximum value. It's all about having a plan, getting maximum value. Uh, yeah, also, Alucio is swapped to an Anna. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Um, it also means she's still in the spawn. That's unfortunate as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, the big issue with this is we don't have defensive ultimate. That's kind of why we like to see uh, a main support with an off support. Like, and I know the terms, I, I always cover this in overanalyze, but I, I just want to get massively anal about it. But I always refer to healers and supports in these videos as a main support is somebody with primary healing. So the output tons of healing, a off support, a support support whatever you want to call it. That's somebody who has healing, yeah, but also defensive ultimates and ha brings other utilities. So like that's your Zen, that's your Lucio, etc., etc., etc. Um, But yes, I would have liked to have seen a Zen or a Lucio, to be honest, instead of the Ana. But hey, that's fine. Whatever. It's, I mean, it's still, it's still great. We've got loads of healing. Like, she brings different stuff to the table, but we don't have defensive ultimates. So if they come at us with, like... All right, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back already. <laughs> what I was trying to say is if they come at us with like a Genji Blade, well, how are we going to stop that? We can put him to sleep with Anna. Okay, we can put Immortality Field down, but he can actually slash that, which I guess is kind of the little thing. Like, Batiste is really good with his Immortality Field. He can deflect some ultimates, but it can still be destroyed. So it's not like a, a Zen Transcendence, for example, where it's like, ha ha, kill us now. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't quite work like that. Anyway, let's focus on Batiste for this because let's just look at the way this unfolds, this attack. So we walk out of the door. The enemy are coming towards us, right? Just run it through in your head. Think very logically. Support in Overwatch is about using your brain, right? You, DPS, just you can just no-brain it. I mean, what's the, the saying these days? People like to say smooth brain, right? Because you've got more wrinkles on your brain. You're more clever. More clever. That's not even English, but it is now. Right, so we go. We're walking in towards the enemy team. Right, you can see their Doomfist. He's jumped over there. Right, first mistake, we use regen. Why? Nobody's taken any damage. So we completely waste that ability. That's not clever. Then we throw Immortality Field down on the ground. This isn't too bad, right? Uh, Doomfist is on us, which is obviously not ideal. But this will keep us alive. Doomfist punches us into the wall. Does it get destroyed? Let's. I mean, this is a little bit messy. That's why I'm pausing it a lot. A charge comes through. And we just get battered against the wall. So it's kind of a bit unlucky. You kind of did the right thing, but then also the wrong thing. We wasted our regen, but we kind of put Immortality Field down. Okay. Now, the big thing here is we've got to group up. Also, you can fire, primary fire, and heal at the same time, yeah, which is actually quite good. If you are, like, firing into a mess where your team is as well, so you can damage and heal. Okay, but this is cool, right? So, we're staying towards the back. We've dropped our Immortality Field down. I don't have an issue with this because... Every time we're in an enclosed area, Immortality Field gets maximum value. Remember as well, like, um, Dragon Strike doesn't destroy the Immortality Field itself. So if you're ever caught in a grab and you drop Immortality Field down, the Dragon Strike will not destroy it. That's super strong. So here, this is good because Doomfist cannot do anything here. And then Reinhardt's coming again. He can't do anything. And actually totally outplayed him because he charged your tank thinking he'd oh get God, the kill. Well, we've, we've now got our ultimate available as well. Let's just see what you do with the ultimate before we start talking about it. Because this is like a very back and forth fight. Again, she's gone in with his blade. All right. Okay, we win the fight. Now, I might have been tempted to just use my ultimate there. One of the things with the ultimate for Batiste is... Let's just pause this because we need to think about setup after this. So, one of the things with the, the ultimate with Batiste is you get it so incredibly fast. And it is almost like a throwaway ultimate. Think of it like a Tracer Pulse Bomb. I mean, it, it's it's really good in certain situations, but again, your team need to fire through it to get the effect. I have found myself honestly using this as just, I'm Batiste, I drop it down, then I start firing through it myself, and you do a surprising amount of damage, and it can catch the enemy team off guard. You know, if you're like, I mean, imagine if you're here, like, and the enemy team are pushing through this area here. You can straight up drop your immortality field down there and then just fire through it at the enemy team as they come in. You're going to get value from that. Of course, it also increases all healing that goes through it as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could do cheesy things like put it in front of Bastions and it's super strong and, and whatnot. Uh, actually, using it with Reinhardt is really funny because you drop it in front of Reinhardt and he fire strikes through it. it, it yeah, it's, it's actually incredible. Um, but yeah, okay, so... The phase of gameplay now is we've won the fight. We're going to take control of the point. How are we going to play this? We also have... 
Yeah, I tried to boost Ryan because he was like dying. We also really haven't spoken like about the passive, but so. obviously you just crouch, then you can super jump or rocket jump, whatever you want to call it. Jump with your boots. All right, so our team are holding close here. This gives us a couple of options, right? Um, we need to be thinking about what ultimates we've got available. So if we've got a grab, for example, we could grab them straight away. And one thing you could do with grab uh, is use your immortality field offensively. Now, this is actually an interesting concept for Batiste, where you've got a defensive component and an offensive component so in immortality field you cannot die you take damage only down to a certain point but then you will not die they can destroy the drone however if you grab the enemy you should 100 percent throw your immortality field into the grab because the enemy won't be able to do anything to anyone attacking them while they're in the grab unless they destroy the drone yeah so if your reinhardt's in there swinging around it's actually super strong and we yeah, okay. I was going to say, and we could use our ultimate here. See, this here is super strong. And we're using it in conjunction with McCree. I really like this. McCree will be able to destroy that barrier. This is nice. Okay, okay. now they're pushing him, right? Use of uh, regen. D did we really need to use it? Only uh, uh, Zarya is taking damage there. We could have just healed her with, with our normal heal, our secondary fire. But now we really need to get literally get our asses back onto the point because that's where we're going to get value. Immortality field is available because we haven't used it. So we'd be looking to get back onto the point. Drop Immortality field. What can they do? Let's watch this unfold because you probably won't get value from this. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. They used a lot. They used a lot there. Now, that's why you got killed. Now, now, luckily, we got value off the immortality field because they we dropped it and then they grabbed us where we dropped it. So that was a bit lucky. The thing is, though, they invested a ton into that. They destroyed the immortality field. They killed everyone. But they used a lot of ultimates there. So I think I heard McCree, uh, I did Doomfist, McCree, possibly Doomfist. I don't know. I can't be bothered to record, uh, but definitely grab. So we definitely got these two ultimates out. So, yeah, that's, that's just like whatever. We're going to lose the point. But what have we got coming up? We've got Grav coming up, and we have got... Uh, we've almost got a Blade, almost got a Nano. Yeah, I don't think they used shit. And you've almost got your ultimate again. You see what DPS I mean? Like, how DPS. strong yeah, it is. Both DPS, Mercy, and Grav. Yeah, they save Shadow and more. Yeah, okay. I thought I thought they used uh, Doomfist. Okay. So, with, again, we're thinking about attacking. And, and like, th this Doomfist, we kill him. We, we Immortality Field, we kill him. Okay, Doom. Uh, not immortal. Uh, regen, regen. Im don't immortality field there. I just forgot main. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Main. Go in main. Go in main. Go in main. Yeah, I'm going. Good call. Good comms. I See, another thing as well. If you're going to play in a three stack, you have got to comm. You've got to comm with your team. And I like the fact you guys are comming. You guys are clearly working together and you will go up through the ranks if you do this. However, if you play heroes that synergize really, really, really well, yeah then you can really go through the ranks. I'm talking, if you've got a Genji friend, yeah, right? Some people might say, story time, they might say, hey, Stai, Genji isn't actually uh, meta. And I'd say, well, he is, right? Because if you've got an Anna, and you're good at Anna, and you've got a Genji, and he's your best friend, and you play together, and you nano him every single time he wants to nano blade, or blade, and so he's got a nano blade, it's beautiful. But don't forget, Nano and Winston is also a super strong choice. <laughs> if you've got a Winston. But what I'm saying is, if you can work together with ultimates, like if you've got a Zarya and a uh, Hanzo playing together, for example, you can combo your ultimates almost like exactly all of the time. And it is so effective. Ultimates win this game. Hands down. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back into the video. Okay. Oh, God. I've screwed up the speed. I need to fix this. <laughs> Right, so we're walking onto the point. So all we're gonna do on the point here is we've got our ultimate, we can deploy it on the point, we put our immortality field on the point, we spray heals into the ground, we fight the enemy, we use regen field. We're just gonna use yeah, everything. Sure. We didn't need to use regen there. We, we, we're wasting this ability yeah. a lot, and it's actually a good ability. Okay, Genji's going into the back. All right, this is like, this is okay. Like, in my head, I would have liked to just rush the point. Get on the point and fight them on the point because we need to take it back as soon as possible. However, we sort of went there and then uh, 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 and then turned back as a team and then we've engaged them here. This is okay because we've got a lot going on here and like we're going in. We've got a Genji Blade in the back. I think we're about to deploy our ultimate, which is totally the right play as well. In terms of positioning, your position, I think it's been pretty good. Like Batiste wants to be with the team. It's fine. See, you get a surprised amount of kills. Yeah. It's also fine using Immortality Field there. It's the end of the fight. You know, we'll have it back 
by the time the enemy push us. Okay, uh, we've got grab now. So I'd like it if we get really offensive and grab them wherever they come through. That being said, it would also be a good idea to play on the point. So I'd just uh, be looking they, to... They, they're, they're going top right. They're going top right. Okay, so they're going top right. Uh, Ryan dropped. They're down. They're down. They're down. They're all down. I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab the doorway. See, this is awesome comms, right? It doesn't matter what level you play Overwatch at. What this Saria is doing is absolutely amazing. This is all you need to do. You know, we've seen comms, haven't we, with Overanalyze through the years, where it's like people who give YouTube commentaries on the game. We don't... Nobody... Ain't nobody got time for that. We don't want that. What we want is critical key information that the team can disseminate, right? We don't want somebody giving us their life story. We don't want somebody going, oh, well, I could have killed that guy, but I was so bad and I missed all my shots and I'm very sorry, guys. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares, right? What they care about is you going, right, guys, I'm going to grab them. Get ready. I'm going to grab them at the choke. All right, guys, I'm going to use Earth Shatter. McCree, can you flash there, Reinhardt, and I'm going to shatter through? That's what we want to hear. Critical comms, critical. Wait. So you, All right, so he wants to get super... I just heard... Fire at will. Right, so we're grabbing them then. Now, remember what I said earlier on. Immortality field into this. We can spray into this. We can fire into this. We can just go wild, right? Immortality. Yes! Come on! Come on! Go, go, go. Swing, swing, swing. Are you... Are you in this room? Actually, how could that even be real? Because this video has been recorded in the past. Yes. Do this more. Uh, Doomfist is behind. He's up top. Yes. He's going on the top right. What I will say though about Batiste, his weapon is a bit weird. Takes a bit of time to get used to, like this little piddly... Or he just knows that Doomfist is going top right. Right, this is good. Um, we're about to even up the percentages as well. Kill our Genji back right. Oh, that's a nice heal. Nice, Anna, nice. Actually, that does show you. I think you did get a connection there with your grenade. Um, but Anna did heal that person. The problem is, um, if... That Anna was Lucio, that Genji, maybe he would have died. You see what I'm saying? But if the enemy have got a good Genji, how are we going to stop his blade? If the enemy have got a good soldier, how are we going to stop his tack visor? Because tack visor locks onto the immortality field. I think you're playing really well, though, to be honest. And honestly, I I think this is great that you're having tons of fun with your friends as well. And I, and I you know, people moan about triple stacking or whatever. Who cares? If you're having fun, just get on with it. I have no charge. Oh, we, we should be on the point now here. Like, we really should be fighting them on the point. We should play in point. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is actually beautiful. I say it and it happens. This we is the kind of overanalyzed I like. Watch out, wise. Immortality on the point. Just use everything, yeah. Oh. Ryan purple on top. Still winnable. Still winnable. It's winnable. He's right, he's right, he's right. No! It was winnable! It was winnable! Alright, let's just go back. It was winnable. Watch. I'd be screaming winnable into the microphone, which actually isn't very good comms. But I'd be going, winnable, it's winnable, it's winnable! Uh, right, Anna. Okay, we heal Anna, this is fine. We lose our Reinhardt, I believe. Do we lose our Reinhardt? Can we even escape this? No, okay, I'm being too harsh here. I'm like, I thought you could have escaped that McCree, you couldn't. Right, he's right, he's right. We can still get in, though. The key thing here is don't use ultimates, guys. Please don't use your ults. What have we got? We've got a Shatter and McCree. Yep. That's a close one. Oh, Try to get out. It's going to be messy. We only have one last fight. We're screwed. Uh, our Ryan. Uh, is our Ryan's out? Yeah, no, no. We can still get there. We can get It's winnable. It's winnable. Go, Reinhardt. Go, 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 go. He's got to go. And he's going to get down. I'm not sure why we've got a brick. Somebody swapped a brick. They should be Lucio or something fast to get back to the point. Because it doesn't matter if you're making a great pick to count what the enemy you've got. If you don't get to the point, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Get the point, get the point, get the point. Right, cool. I got the one. Okay. Oh, there, Reinhardt is screwed as. He's dead. He's going to get charged. He's on the point. <laughs> what? Listen, I'm choking. He's on the point. Hey! Oh, yeah, but he was on the point. I think he still would have lost anyway because he got charged out. Okay, it wasn't a C9. It was not a C9. A C9 is when the team voluntarily leave the point. I believe, I believe, getting Earth... Sh hang on. Getting Earth shattered and then charged does, it does not constitute a C9 because you have been destroyed. Gah! These people! Right. Uh, should we play bunker? 
That's what Batiste is all about. Like, you will see Batiste get played Paris. Sure. First point defense, really good because it's bunker time. You'll see him on um, we'll maybe Temple of Anubis right? because it's bunker time. And what we mean by bunker comp, it's Arissa with probably a Bastion. Bastion is actually really good right now, especially with Batiste, because Batiste can stop the dive. So in the past, the way you would deal with a bunker comp is you might dive it with a, I don't know, let's say a Winston and a Diva and maybe a Genji or something. And they might go through, do you know, a pretty good chunk of burst damage. Diva eats up the Bastion damage. You go through, you maybe get a kill. Now, though, Batiste just drops Immortality Field down, and then you can't do nothing, and then you die. So it's really, really, really strong. Really strong on this point, because, again, you can bunker down on the point. You can also bunker down off the point if you like. Um, there are two ways of playing this, though. Um, and I'll show you when we get into this, because... So we're going... Actually, we're going full Bastion Bunker. Bastion Bunker comp on this point... I would be like, maybe isn't as strong as, like, on Paris' first point, because you know where the enemy are coming from, yeah? On this... <coughs> Apologies. In fact, let me get a drink. I'm sure I've got a, uh, I've got a drink in my pocket. I've literally got a can of Coke Zero. By the way, I'm not sponsored. Also, this is probably going to be really bad. This is going to be a really bad idea. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Can you see it? It's dented. This could go horrifically bad for me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, it hasn't even opened. Oh, my God. Oh no, I, don't, I, sh I probably shouldn't push. My, this is literally the greatest segment in an overanalyzed ever. I'm trying to force open a can. It's worked. It has actually worked. Okay, we're in. Yes. By the way, you want to sponsor me, Coke? Let's go. All right, so. Uh, that's yeah, let's just, I forgot what I was saying. Left Something left about right. bunker comps. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bastion on this point. There's someone called left. There's a lot of ways it can so come from, but we can still, it can still work, right? It can still work. And often can catch the enemy off guard. All right. Um, Where are we going? This is the big thing here. Where are we going? This execution, I do not like. What we should be doing is getting down here and setting up the bunker in the corner. We control the point. We're saying to the enemy, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's literally giving them a problem. Because, I mean, if we set up down here, the enemy can either flank, try and fight us head on, which is absolutely not advisable, or come around this way. Now, what we've done is we've pushed forward this way. Arissa has totally blew a load there, and, and that is a, not a great shield. Remember, I'm choking and dying. Arissa is like... You want to get value from the shield in a good position. That isn't really a good position. Uh, we're probably going to... In fact, I suspect we move beyond that now. Ooh, hard. We could have saved Hulk with Immortality Field. Also, you used regen when nobody was taking really any damage. Like, remember, your primary fire... Oh, well, your primary heal, so your secondary fire. A bit confusing, I know. The grenade does a ton of healing. So when you're firing that in AoE, it's actually doing massive healing. Fun. Only use the emergency regen if like we are taking insane burst damage right or you need to heal yourself because remember your grenades don't heal you so ooh. that's good we're up the enemy is sort of in all over the place here but look what's happened they've captured the point like this this bunker comp 100 has to be set up here on the point 100 because where you are here yeah, I mean, we've got, like, beautiful sight lines here, and we can't really be flanked, but we can't capture the point either, right? And that's the point of it. Don't let them get back. Right, we'll be back in five. Okay, now we got it. I mean, there it is. obviously, right. yeah, we, 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 we win the fight. But we would have uh, capped the point <laughs> as well, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. You can't, you can't, you can't. Now, now we can use, yeah, now we can use our regen. What's our risk doing? Right, so two decisions here on this map. Now... You either hold close or you hold on the point. Your comp dictates you hold on the point. You do not hold close because you can, like, you're not going to get the value from the Bastion if you try and hold close and set the Bastion up. It's not going to work. If you had a Reinhardt, yeah, you could hold close because Ryan can go forward, he can move around. I mean, you can still hold close with the Orissa, but the Bastion is what's dictating the, the positioning here and the Batiste. You want to be together, all together, stand on top of each other. We've got a mortality field next. So if we set up in the corner and Bastion's there, we drop our... Um, Ampli ampli amplification matrix. I, maybe I've got that 
Maybe I've called that immortality field a few times by mistake. Apologies if I have, guys. But you've got your ultimate ready to go. You can drop down in front of the Bastion. The damage is literally incredible, especially for you and the Orisa. You should be firing through it. So, yeah. This here, we're... we're... A Dimpus in the right room. Nice. Regen, yeah. I don't know what that Doomfist was doing. Okay, and we win an easy fight because the enemy team are feeding their brains out. Why do they... Why do teams do this? I'll never understand this. It's like, oh, oh today I'm just going to feed my brains out. Why? Okay, so now we're pushing forward. Like, listen, what I said earlier about positioning, it's true, right? You've got to think about your key, your critical position. However... If you're staying together, I also like that as well. Because this comp has to stay together. Yeah, it's got some vulnerabilities. Yeah, they could hit you with like, you know, you're going to be an easy grav target. You can't stop the grav. But will it matter if you've got all of this stuff to protect yourself with? Immortality field, barriers, and bastion pumping out tons of damage. You know, so it's a difficult one to get rid of. <laughs> that is not a great amplification matrix, I'm going to say. Even though I, I, that was a nice immortality field. I don't really care. In fact, that just completely shows you why this is why this healer is fantastic. And right now, in this team comp, think about if you were playing Moira. Well, you would have died to the Doomfist ultimate there. And so would the Bastion, probably. Um, yeah, but you can just stop it with this hero. Remember, it's all about map meta. It's all about comp meta. And this is why, arguably, I mean, it's not arguably. This is the best meta Overwatch has ever had, really. Everything is pretty much viable. Team up for special attack. It's, uh... I mean, the enemy are just literally feeding their brains out. I, see, they don't know how to deal with it. And this is the good thing, right? And, and it really screws them up. They're like, what do we do? Uh, let's just jump on them. Let's get Hammond. Hammond ain't really the answer to this. Because Hammond doesn't really protect his team. Hammond's a good disruptive dive tank, but jumping into, like, I mean, look at your team. You've got a Roadhog. You've got a, a Bassy. He's just going to die instantly. It's just not great. <laughs> I think the Genji might have died there if he didn't get beat. <laughs> it's a well played Lucio. Alright, we win. Well, we should win. I thought it was on 98, but it was 91%. Okay, let's go after it. Oh, no, fuck that. No, 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 no. Like, that, that call to go on point. No, how, like, right, so, <laughs> this, this point, yeah, if you beat the enemy, it's generally what happens is you push towards this choke and hold it. The reason why I wanted you to stay on the point a little bit more is because your comp would be really good there, because as soon as they come through, Bastion could just mow them down. Instead, you really push forward to, like, onto them and, and had some success in that weird position, which is only really because the enemy team were feeding their brains out, right? They were just trying to do stupid stuff like Doomfist flying in, Hammond flying in. It just isn't going to work, right? But normally, you would push towards this choke. Now, the call that was just made we should go back to point is totally stupid because when you win a fight, if you push forward to the choke here, well, you can just hit the enemy as soon as they come out of their spawn and do incredible damage to them. This is like easier to do with a Reinhardt, um, but it's still doable with an Orisa. But like I said, the Bastion is the main thing here, which is dictating what we do. If we had like a hand zone instead of the Bastion or uh, an Ash or a Soldier, then sure, we could all run forward and do a bit of damage, then we could all run off. But the Bastion probably should be set up on the point in that really nice position towards the back. Anyway, we don't touch. run away from this because they can't touch. Oh, yeah. Like it. I spat all over my monitor. <laughs> I mean, look how much healing you've done. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, I don't think we've really seen... He's not a forte of mine. Tons of issues, to be honest with you, play. I think you just, like... There, there are some little positional issues. Um, especially on the first point, we should have played actually, like, on the point more. Uh, and that would have been more towards our strengths. Um, instead of pushing through the top and then trying to drop down. Um, as many times as we did. Uh, you waste the regen quite a bit. Um, apart from that, though, to be honest, I think you're pretty good. Like, you're really on point with your immortality field, like 99% of the time, which is cool. Now, the issue here is we've got a Brig. So our healing output is now screwed. But Brig can still be decent on this point. I mean... Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, 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 listen. We don't have 222. Not yet. Will we ever get 222? We know Jeff likes it. If we do get it, then we'll probably see Brig 
heal output increase to compensate. However, right now we've got good healing and we've got no healing, but we've got something which is funky. And we've got something which is actually not too bad on this point because we're going to be, well, on the point fighting in close combat. We have got the stun, which is really, really good. Uh, and Brig just doesn't die, right? You, you literally can't 1v1 a Brig. So in a big brawl as it's breaking out, she's going to be actually quite tanky. She is going to contribute with her Inspire passive and her armor pack, which or repair pack, whatever it's called. So she's still not too bad. However, 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 I would, in this circumstance, based on what we've seen the enemy team do, that is, I believe they're tilting their brains out, and they don't really have anybody like a Genji or a Soldier or anybody, or like a Hanzo even, although, remember, we've got Immortality Field, which can counter Hanzo's ultimate. They don't really have anybody who couldn't wipe our enemy team out. That really requires us to have a defensive ultimate. So what I'd be thinking if I was this player is, well, how can we win and win really easily? I'd play Mercy because I damage boost the hell out of this. And we just win. We absolutely win. I mean, we've literally, we would literally have three damage boosts there uh, with the, the, like, the Batiste ultimate. That, that would be incredible. The other option is you could just play Zen because Zen always works in every comp if you were that player. Uh, Moira, maybe, for tons of healing on the point. Um, but yeah, like the Brig pick is okay. Mercy pick I'd like more just because we've got a Bastion. Um, and yeah, I mean, if we lose the first fight, we can sure, we can change, right? That's the whole point of Overwatch. Yeah? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> right, guys, yeah, right? All right, let's see what happens. Thank you. So we just, straight, we just go straight to point. Oh. oh. That's what feels bad. Straight to point. Easy wins. Okay, they got Reinhardt. Nice shield of our Rissa. Nice immortality field. Bastion's going to do tons of work. Literally tons of work. Incredible. Actually incredible. And there we go. Now, look at our ultimate charge. <laughs> it's literally the best. Batiste ultimate. I mean, it's obviously quite clear what we do now. We just stick the we just stick the shield here, and then as they walk through, we just stick our ultimate there, and then Bastion just mows everybody down. And then we sit there like tra -la 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 -la. It's all, it's all good. It's all Gucci. It's all beautiful. Yeah, we just sit here, and it's like, how do they deal with it? Like, what have they got? Right? Look at their team comp. They don't really have anything to deal with it. I mean, they've got a Hanzo now, probably thinking, oh yeah, what we'll do is we'll fire the uh, Dragon Strike through the, uh, uh, the, the 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 bunker and they'll die. But well, they won't because your Immortality Field will stop them. The Diva though is actually a decent pick by them because they can, well, eat some of the damage which is going to come in. And also Bomb is actually pretty good at getting rid of Batiste, especially if they, I guess, they use Bomb and Hanzo together. And you could throw in Doomfist. Although this is a lot to invest just to get rid of the bunker. But it just goes to show it's so difficult to remove the bunker from the point if it wins the first fight, bit, uh, especially on this map. And remember, it's all about map meta overwatches right now. They're just going to get rinsed. I just would put you, yeah. <laughs> this is just evaporated. Instantly die. Be it's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. I think you're. I think you're a really good player. I don't know why you're in diamonds. To be fair, you should be higher than this. Maybe, um, maybe it is because you play six stack. Uh, three yep, stack. Sorry. Right. So maybe it's putting you against harder opponents, or maybe this is just your best game, or. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, unlucky. Uh, it still might be winnable, yeah. Oh, that's... No. Ow. Is that winnable? Don't think it is. They used a lot of ultimates, though. I mean, we used ultimates, but they used ultimates as well. Uh, so they used Shatter, they used uh, Hanzo, they used Doomfist, they used Bomb. I think. Did they use Bomb? Maybe they, maybe they didn't use bomb, I'm not sure, but they definitely use these ultimates, right? Um, yeah, we did, don't... Oh, they might have Batiste, actually, because it charges so quick, but we don't really care about that. Mercy, again, we don't really care about Mercy's ultimate, whatever. Uh, however, what have we got coming up? Well, we've got literally these four ultimates are about to go a bit beyond line, which, like, Rally is just really good because it's Rally. So you're just running with Brig and she pops Rally, especially on this point. Going to be a brawl. You're going to get a lot of value from it. Um, the issue now is getting the Bastion back to the point. Uh, now, it's a bit messy. It's a bit back and forth, but the enemy team have won this fight. So they are going to be on the point. He swapped to Junkrat. New Junkrat is good. I will say that. New Junkrat is really good. 
But is that what we needed? That's why you got a... Uh... Farah. He switched to Farah. Oh, uh, now we've got a problem. We have got a huge problem. Who the hell is going got, to heal uh... the Farah? Who, who the hell is going... This person... Is 5 IQ. <laughs> Typical DPS, right? Because it's like, well, let's have a look at the team. Well, by Jove. Look at the enemy team. Well, uh, now they've got a McCree. They didn't have this before because it was a Hanzo. I'm going to use my brain and I'm going to go, I don't think Hanzo is going to hit me, so I'm going to play Farah. Uh, however, who the hell is going to heal me? Brig? Once in a blue moon, she can throw me a pair pack. Batiste? <laughs> No, 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 no. Bongo. Bongo hog. Oh, no. Hey, you almost have your office. Like, just not a good move by the Farah. Like, Farah should just play... Like, I don't know. Get get an Ash. Get a soldier. Get something. Everybody just... Oh, just, just uh, not that. It's going to be hard for me to heal you, Farah. <laughs> I mean, it's not your fault, Batista. It's not your fault. Right, we're rallying a bit early. Watch the shatter. Oh, no, they used it. They already used shatter. Just right, use our ultimate. Just Where's stick our ult on point. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Now this is going to be insane damage. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at all this. I love it when I'm Batiste and I see all these red healing markers. Because look how much ult we're getting back. We've just used our ult and we've already got like 25% back. It is stupid. It is ludicrous. It's probably going to get nerfed. Or is it? No, it probably won't, actually. I think it will. I really like I really like this hero. I really like him. He's such a cool hero design. What? Oh, my God. This is insane. What? This is really not what I want to see. That Pharaoh. Uh, uh. He might have another shadow. Well, <laughs> now, we could have survived this by running towards our immortality field. However, it, there was a Reinhardt there, so we man. wouldn't have survived for very long, I don't think. So, uh, let's watch this unfold. Right, they're going to just... It's they literally a shadow. yeet. They're just like, yo, let's yeet the diva bomb in. So, their immortality field's down. And as goes down in the corner. Then they do this. We run into our immortality field. That's the only play here, to be honest. I mean, I think we're right on the edge of it. So it is a bit unlucky. Yeah, it's kind of unlucky. We could have survived that. And then what happens next? I don't know. Farah killed us out. Told you Farah is stupid. That Farah needs to change. Change Farah, change Farah. Because this is getting risky. Let's just give it a comeback. Come on, Farah. Ah, unlucky. Nice little try to try and save people. Which, of course, you can use it for that if people are trying to retreat. Alright, one more one fight we have. Be careful not to send that up. I'm just... I'm really worried. Uh, also, good change there by the Orisa. Because uh, it's, it's generally difficult to get... Like, when it's the first fight, it's okay. Uh, with Orisa, like, rushing towards the point. But when it's the second fight, um, you kind of need the Reinhardt barrier, which is mobile, to get there. Because you're going to take a ton of damage. Like Orisa, she uses a barrier, then runs through it. You're just going to get no value when you get to the point. That's why you generally don't see her get played on this point. And it's almost always Reinhardt, especially at like the highest level of play. Which, by the way, like you can look at the highest level of play and be like, oh, God, these guys play goats. Let's just play goats. It's not really that simple on ladder. And obviously, the meta has changed. Um, the Overwatch League teams are invested into goats quite heavily. Um, just because they've spent so much time practicing on it. Why would you play something completely different um but for us it's like it's not that cut and dry but there are simple things we can look at and, and learn much like the uh, reinhardt example i just gave oh yeah i'm gonna make sure he uses his um we could just pop him first uh, this break no, used her all too early no, like really should you she should be using her all like definitely has uh now you know like as we get to the point okay so we've got a problem we've got a high noon coming in Nice. Oh, he did? Okay. He did use shatter, yeah. Dude, Bracey dead, Bracey dead. This is really... This is really not your fault. This is Farah. Let's wreck this game. Maybe your team still got this. Come on, boys. I... Right, I would swap. I would actually swap to anything and just rush back to the point. Because this is like... It's 83% to them and... Oh man, it's such a mess. I think we're screwed. No. I think we're screwed. Can't really move. And the reason why we're screwed is we, we literally had like one less DPS for 
over right, half of that map. Get on there real fast. Man, this is what is annoying sometimes about Overwatch. Ah, this is annoying, man. Okay, you're a good player. And and the, the guys you're playing with are good players as well. Um, sometimes, though, things will happen that are out of your control, which is basically what happened in that game. Um, I mean, honestly, I see no reason why you can't get to Master, to be fair. Uh, oh, well, uh, the reason being, if you maybe you get more teammates like that, Pharaoh, then you'll never get there. <laughs> But yeah, you're a good player. Batiste is a fun hero, right, guys? I love it. All right, guys. I've been Salos, and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video and want to send a video in for consideration to appear on the series, then do follow the instructions that have been on the screen at the start of the video and at the end of the video. Now, people often say to me, Stai, why don't you just put this email in the video description? The reason why is I only really want to make these videos for people that watch the series. Because if I put the email everywhere, which, yeah, sure, you know, it's not a difficult email. I mean, it's like overanalyzed ow at gmail.com i think even i forgot what the email is is that what it is something like that um if i just put it in the link in the description i'll get a lot of spam and uh, i'll get people just like you know sending me emails who maybe don't watch the series and are just like fishing and that's like anyway all right guys i'll leave it at that i've been solo so you can follow me on twitter which is at solo also on instagram which is at solo as well and i'll catch you lovely lot on the next one Doodly.